Hey guys, it's Joe again here with Big Island Bees, Lisa as well. We're here to keep in touch with you guys. Uh, sorry for our quality last week when we were running our uh, live feed. We have a little bit of a poor circumstance when it comes to uh, service here in our corral. Uh, but we have another great example for you guys today. We're actually going to look even closer at the hive we looked at last week. We're going to look in and see a little bit of the bearding that we see here that we talked about a little bit. Uh, talk a little more about honey and see a little more firsthand as well. Uh, we're going to be in the hive just for a few minutes, but we're going to do our best to give you as much fun information as we can and uh, hopefully by this time next week we'll be ready to be at with you guys live again and be able to uh, answer your questions right in the video but for now uh, this is what we got so we're gonna flip back over and we're gonna say hi to Lisa and go Aloha guys hey thank you guys so much for joining us again today uh, we hope you enjoyed our last video that we did because we sure had a lot of fun showing you guys that burr comb and talking a little bit about honey so that's what I'm gonna talk to you guys about again today is we're gonna kind of go into that hive that was behind me last week and that was bearded up. As we can see, it's still going very well and there's still a lot of bees on there. So I'm gonna actually open up the hive a little bit and we're gonna pull out those frames and I'm gonna show you some really nice capped honey that they've been working on over the last few weeks. Um, so of course I've got my smoker again. Uh, I'm just gonna smoke the bees a little bit just so that they it's kind of my light way of knocking on the door for them to say hey i'm coming in guys like i'm not an intruder um and it also does cause them to gorge on the honey so that is something that uh kind of gets them to slow down a little bit and so that i can get in there and work with them a little bit easier okay so i'm just going to pop the lid off and kind of see what we got going on here so as you see there is a lot of bees on this frame here um, and on this top here is something that we call the wax. So this is beeswax. Beeswax is created by something called bee fat, which is honey that they bring in from the nectar of the flowers into the hive. So this is going to be the ending result, kind of like that burr comb. They're burr combing last week because they're on a honey flow and they're, they're making those spaces there and filling them up. So this is just some of the wax that they have created uh, within this hive and uh, definitely a very nice healthy hive as we can tell just from the outside. So I'm just going to pull out a couple frames for you guys because I want you guys to see firsthand of what really nice brand new capped honey looks like. So again, I'm just going to smoke them a little bit because I don't want them to, you know, I'm going to do my best to get them out of my way and not smash too many bees. You can also see that we have two different shaped boxes that she's working in. The top one is a smaller box. We call it a super or the honey super, right? And that is superimposed on the hive and it's holding from 60 to 80, maybe even up to 100 pounds of honey when the bees are filled, capped, done, and ready with that box. And the box below it, the one where all the bees are hanging on to it and it's a nice light green, that would be our brood box. And that's where our queen is, that's where our babies are, that's where all the, 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 the basics of the hive is, uh, the nursery, everything's growing and prospering. And what we have in Lisa right in her hands is a whole frame of honey and that's their extra food. That's the stuff that they're, not willing to share, but we help them with the idea of sharing that honey with us. Okay, so here's that frame I was wanting to show you guys. So this would be um, something that tells us that it is nice and capped and ready. Right here is what I'm seeing is capped. So that would be your capped honey. And that that's our signification to tell us that it's ready to be extracted. And so with that, we do have a couple videos that we have taken about extraction to kind of give you guys a, you know, input on what that process is. It's just a couple short clips of uh, what's happening in our extraction room right now. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys another frame here just because I'm just as curious as you guys to see what they've actually, how much work they've been doing, which is a lot as we can see. Th this frame probably weighs about three pounds. So they are definitely uh, bringing in all that honey. So some, as Joe was mentioning about our box setup is something that we use uh, when you're trying to produce honey because as they produce honey, they're gonna store it up. 
into the, these boxes here called the supers. So this is gonna be a shallow because it's half the size of this double deep. So we use something that is called a queen excluder. I'm just gonna put that frame back so it's not sitting out there. Uh, we use something called a queen excluder. So the reason for this is so that as we put that excluder on, the queen stays down below where we need her to be and she cannot fit through these holes here. She is too big. So she can't fit through there, nor can the male bees. So, but it does give the opportunity for the worker bees to go in and out of these grooves here. So picture this. So let's say I'm gonna put that on and we're gonna put our supers on top. So that way is when we go to pull those honey supers off, like Joe says, these honey supers can weigh between 60 and 75 pounds. Um, there are a lot of weight to them. There's a lot of weight to them. So it's important that you can get your bees down and get those supers off and you want to do it as quickly as possible because you want to get in that honey flow time frame and get and be producing as much honey as possible. Um, so that's just something that we use that it's easy for us to know where our queen is. So we're not having any babies up top. It's all honey and we're able to just pull and go and extract and kind of have a nice systematic situation. Uh, so as far as all of this here, that's something that I'm going to be probably be taking off tomorrow and giving them more space because they have all of those are capped and they're ready to be extracted. And also something I may do tomorrow as well is um, take some of this honey. We have 11 other hives within our corral that we kind of oversee and maintain is I may give honey to anybody that may be struggling. So tomorrow when I do my checks, I'll make that decision on who needs any honey and how we can help with their own honey that they brought in. Okay, so with that being said, I'm, I'm gonna turn it over to Joe. Um, I just wanna tell you guys, thank you so much for watching us. Um, and again, feel free if you have any questions, you can always email us um, or anything like that. We would love to hear back from you guys. And thank you guys for watching today. Appreciate it. Aloha and be safe. All right, guys. So with that, we did everything we could today to show you uh, what we're doing here in the hive, how we're keeping up with our hives, how we're caring for them. But many of you that have been on the tour, you know a lot of this stuff. So this is just an opportunity for you guys to share it with your friends, with your family. Um, this is also an opportunity for you guys just to get us to know us a little better.